Tracy. This year alone, over 500 women are gone. Now we know this isn't Indians doing it to themselves. We know that when they come in and they make the work camps, the man camps, for exploration, for resources on the reses, that they take a girl or a woman and they use her as a slave. And when they're done, they bury her. They leave her. They kill her. 20,000 women. Our other women are being stolen and they're being shipped across the oceans, being sold in the sex trade. And it's not just Native women, it's all women. All women are being abused and battered, disenfranchised, marginalized, and not treated in the way the Creator wanted. So, you look at this circle, every single one of these ribbons on this circle was tied on yesterday by a woman who has been a victim of domestic abuse. That's what every single one of these ribbons is. So I'm going to tell you a story. When you came in this gate this morning, there was a young girl who took your money. That's my baby. That's my daughter. 18 years ago, she came into this world. And I remember the first time I held her in my hands. She was so small and perfect. And I was so afraid that I was going to do something. Just move the wrong way and hurt her. Because she was so fragile. And I thought to myself at that moment, what a life she's going to have. She's going to be able to do whatever she wants. I had all these dreams, all these aspirations, all these lofty goals in my mind that she could achieve. And then she turned 18 this summer, and she wanted to go visit her friends down in Pennsylvania. And we agreed, me and my wife. It was the first time she was going to drive somewhere, almost 500 miles away by herself. And I was nervous, but I agreed. So I was going to have the dad talk with her. And I said, Marlena, I said, we got to talk. I said, you know, I got to tell you. And she stopped me. And she says, Dad, I know Dad. And I said, what do you know? She says, I know Dad. I said, well, what are you talking about? What do you know, Marlena? And she said, Dad, I won't wear my big earrings because then nobody can grab me by them. And Dad, I won't wear my baggy sweatshirt because then nobody can get me that way. And I won't wear my purse with the strap on it because no one could grab me by that. And when I stop in a rest area, I'll make sure that it's well lit and there's a lot of people around before I walk in. And I'll make sure there's other women that walk in the bathroom with me. And I started thinking to myself, is this the world that I've allowed my daughter to live in? Allowed her to grow up in? So I started listening to other women. And I'm hearing these stories. So I started to investigate. And I found out last month that the United Nations said in a study that the most dangerous place for a woman under 50 years old is her own home. Her own home. So now, I started thinking to myself, I gotta do something. And I talk at all these powwows everywhere. And then, you'll find out about this later, but one of my friends came to me, and the worst of the worst things happened to her. And she said to me, can you talk about it? Well, yeah, I can. Because if I didn't, what kind of father would I be? What kind of husband would I be? What kind of son would I be? What kind of man would I be? So I'm going to ask all my brothers out there, all of you, I'm going to ask you, all the old paradigms that we were taught, you know, that you got to do this, you got to do that, and the woman's place is here. That was all lies, boys. Women are strong, they're powerful. They're just as smart as we are. They're just as important. Okay? And without them, none of us would be here. And you were taught to mind your own business. And if some woman's getting yelled at or whatever, pushed around, not your problem. Well, I'm here to tell you it is. Because that's somebody's sister. That's somebody's daughter. That's somebody's mother. Could be your sister. Could be your daughter or your mother. And you don't want that to happen. So why are you going to tolerate it? And when you hear one of your buddies talking about a woman in the wrong way, don't laugh anymore. Don't go along with it. Stand up and say, no. No, you're wrong. You're not being a man. So I'm going to ask you right now, if you're a man and you're out there, stand up with me. Please, stand up with me. Get right out of your chair and stand up. And tell me you're not going to put up with it anymore. Tell me. No more stolen sisters. No more abused women. We're not going to tolerate it anymore. We're going to tell the rest of our brothers, no. 
And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to know if you did it or not. Because one day, when I'm an old man, and my granddaughter comes to me, and she tells me about a trip she's going to go on, if she talks to me the way that my son did, and not the way my daughter did, it did what I asked. Thank you. Now, now, one minute. I want to ask every woman in this crowd that's ever been a victim, I want you to get in that line. Your sisters are here. Be strong. There's nothing to worry about. Get in that line and get a red flag and tie your heart to this rope so every person here can see what a problem, what an epidemic we have. Because if they don't see it, they don't know. And it's real comfortable. You can forget it in the back of your mind. But if you see all these ribbons and for the rest of the day you look at them and you know what they mean, maybe you'll really want to change it. So please help us, sisters. And let me be the first to apologize. Thank you. Please, I'm serious. Go get a flag. Even if it happened to your sister, someone you know. It's important. Please join in. Join in with these women in our circle with us. Please, if you'd like to, go right to the back there and come right in with them. You don't have to be native. You don't have to be in regalia. If you want to, please do it. We'd love to have you. Stay right in the circle, ladies. Stay right in there. If you want to come back in, please do. I think you'll want to experience this if you were in there before. of all women in their lifetime will be a victim of domestic violence. 40% of all women in their lifetime will be a victim of rape. We got to do better, boys. We got to do better. They're not doing it to themselves. We got to change it. Okay. You ready to go, Ma? Okay, heavy rain. Please stand if you could. <laughs> 